So it's 11 a.m. and I'm ready to drink some alcohol, but don't be charging. It's a wine tasting. going to the wine tasting. Uh, two years ago when I first came to M, like I asked about wine tasting because that's what we did in Austria. It was immediately after Erasmus and she said that mm, she don't know if there is something and yesterday during our trip to like some beaches and lakes uh, she remembered that she knows one person that works in the winery can make it and yeah <laughs> we're going there. Babe, uh, what's the place name? Durakis Winery. So it's your colleague, right? Yeah, from another world. <laughs> okay, it's made everything. <laughs> In the past, my uncle was making also wine, but only for our family. We were collecting the grapes from the winery, and no, from the field. I said winery, sorry. Uh -huh. And then we were pressing them with my, with our face in a circle thing. And then all that juice was coming out, and we collected it. <laughs> nice. We put that juice in a barrel, and we were living that for I don't know for how long. Oh yeah. Ναι. Ah. Και τέλεγα για το για τα φίλια και τα φίλια. Λοιπόν, επειδή κάνουμε κάποιες εργασίες κάτω. Ωραία. During the wine tasting, Emma's colleague Yanis told us a lot of interesting information about the local wines. And I think we tasted about 10 different wines. In most cases, I tried semi-sweet ones because I prefer them. And on her side, tried dry wines. It's Vioni, 2019. Mm -hmm. It's Vilana as a previous one, and this is a semi semi -fix. Cool. Thank you. The winery is here since 1989. Uh, we produce uh, about 230,000 bottles per year and we export the 15%. Uh, we produce uh, local varieties and some international, like this one, it's Grenade Rouge. We have Syrah, we have Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, and uh, we have from Cretan. Uh, Red and grapes like uh, Villana, like Malvasia Aromatica, like Moscato Spinach, uh, like Mandilari, uh, like Cotifali, uh, and Romeico. Romeico is a local grape and we produce as the first time the white label named Apus. Uh, and we produce the first time uh, the Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is a sparkling wine, method traditional. And uh, the sweet one, we produce and the sweet one from Romeco. So he was telling that to produce uh, sweet wine, it costs like twice more and it's like more complicated because firstly they need to dry the grapes and when they're drying it, they're losing around 50% of juice. So that's why they need like twice more. It's 100% of Viriano. Viriano is a local variety. Uh, this is our, our Diva. This is uh, one of the famous variety in Crete. Uh, it's a blend with Cabernet Sauvignon and local Cochifali. Cochifali is one of 11 indigenous varieties here in Crete. Uh, this is for 2017 uh, and uh, we put it in about 9 months. 
so it's time for sweet wine i'm more from them sweet but it tastes so so good like for example i know that my mom will love it for sure it can be a little bit too sweet for me no but problem. it's super tasty this is euphoria uh, we produce it with uh, romeico romeico is a local variety this is from 2018 and we produce it with the sun dried method we do late harvest and after we sun dry it about mm -hmm. 10 days it depends the weather in the and after we press the grapes and take the juice we collect the uh, grapes here and after we put it in this pressing machine and press the grapes and take the juice we put it in this big tank we put it inside the wine and another big tanks to take part of the fermentation, the start of fermentation. So we put the empty bottle here. In this, in this machine we wash the bottles with the water. After the bottle is clean. In this machine we fill the bottles with the wine. Here we put it the cold. In this machine we put it the cold. But this wine, in this wine we don't put cold, we put the stem, the cart to the cold screw. In this machine we put the capsule and this is the label. This is the, the bottle without the label. In the other machine next we put the label and after by hand we put it in the box. Later, Yanis showed us how wines are stored in the winery and really interesting fact that different kinds of wine are stored in different ways. I never know about this, so it was super, super interesting. I would tell honestly, I've seen the things like that only in the movies and I've always seen this in person and it looks amazing, I learned so much and I definitely advise you to take a wine to here in Crete. And in the end of the testing we met the owner of the winery, Mr. Dukaris, who kindly agreed to participate in my video. Like your winery is amazing, it's so beautiful, the wine is so beautiful. Uh, I just wanted to ask you how how you decided to create a winery. I know that you were studying in Germany. Before I start <laughs> professional to make wine, uh, I drank wine. Yeah. That's all. And then you like decide to make more professional. I study chemistry. Okay. And I work uh, for analyze wine analyze in a big factory. Okay. And there I meet uh, German uh, German. Uh, who know the wine technique. Okay. And through conversation, I mm -hmm. decided to travel to Germany to learn more from, from wine. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I would definitely advise everybody to visit this place. Thank you so much. It's like, super good. Unfortunately, we had just a couple of minutes to talk to him since Emma was late to work, but I'm still really glad that we met him. And also, in the end, of course, we just had to buy some bottles of wine. So guys, I will attach the, I think, phone number of Yanis. <laughs> so if you would like to have a wine tour, amazing wine tasting, you should definitely call him and arrange this. It was absolutely, absolutely amazing and definitely advise him to do so.